everybody, it's Ricky with Apple Valley Farm. I'm very excited to share this little quick video with you today. As you can see, I've got my exam glove on. We're getting ready to oil up a cutting board. And we've never done a rainbow poplar cutting board before, but we're, we're doing a couple of them now. So I'm getting ready to oil it up and I'm very excited because I know it's just gonna, it's gonna explode with color. And I want to share that with you because this is the first time I'll be seeing it too. So. Here we go, we're getting ready to put the oil to our very first rainbow poplar cutting board. Well, not a cutting board, but a charcuterie board. And um, I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. Let's see. Okay, here we go. So here's our charcuterie board, beautiful rainbow poplar. This, believe it or not, was some rough, nasty pallet wood <laughs> before we got a hold of it and it is, it's gorgeous like it is. But of course, we can't put it out there to serve food on and things like that without uh, putting some type of an oil finish on it. So anyway, we're just gonna put some, some mineral oil on it and um, watch it come alive. So uh, just so you know, uh, we put this together, sanded it down to 150, uh, then we sprayed it with water, let it dry, raised the grain, sanded that back down to 150, sanded it to 220, then finally sanded it to 400, which is super glassy smooth, and I believe that's going to give us the final result that we want. But now, to make it come alive with the oil, here we go. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be beautiful. Oh my gosh. It doesn't even look, this doesn't look real. This is gorgeous. Oh my, oh my, are you seeing this, are you guys seeing this, because I am blown away, wow, 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 oh my gosh, alright, so let's go on and uh, Let's get the, the other side. Look at there at the difference in that and that. That's still beautiful, but my gosh. All right, let's go ahead and do some more over here. And in case you're wondering, um, some people, there we go. Some people dunk their boards in an oil bath, and, um, and that's great. We just don't do that because it takes so much oil, and I don't really have the room for it. So this is how we do it. I'll do this. We'll let the board soak uh, as much of this oil in as possible. Man, that's gosh, so pretty. We'll let the board soak in as much oil as possible, then I'll oil it again. Um, because we want to make sure it's absorbing as much as it possibly can because that'll give it the most protection possible. Wow. Really nice. And we should not have to do any more sanding on this. And then when the owner gets it, then of course they'll uh, reapply oil regularly um, to keep it conditioned. This is gonna be, uh, this is one of the most stunning charcuterie boards we've ever, we've ever done. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little more on here just because I wanna make sure we're, we're not stingy with it. That bottle of mineral oil costs 94 cents. So, you know, it's, it's not like we need to conserve it. Uh, I don't wanna be sloppy with it, but man. Yeah, we want to make sure that this wood 
gets the opportunity to absorb as much oil as possible. Wow. And that is how that is done, Jack. Woo! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Hmm. Rainbow poplar from a pallet. All right, I think that was exciting. It was for me, I hope it was for you. Anyway, I have never done that before, uh, at least not with that species of wood. So with that rainbow poplar, man, that really, that oil really just, pow, it just really brought it to life. So I hope that was cool for you. I hope that was helpful. So if you're kind of thinking about doing the cutting board, charcuterie board thing, maybe this will inspire you. Uh, let us know kind of what you do. Share that with me. I would love to see it. Um, and if you like this, please like this video, please comment on it, and please subscribe to our channel. We're doing stuff like this all the time. Just simple techniques for things that we're doing here in our home shop without a million dollars worth of tools. So I hope that helps. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a great day. Take care. <music>